Just sitting here thinking a minute ago, first of all, uh, all the blessings to the regime. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaykum. Peace. May Allah's mercy and blessings be on all of us. And uh, and congratulations, those of you all that, that came out, because we we are under, uh, you know, a heavy, heavy opposition. And the brother spoke about me and my nature and the type of person I am and the type of person my father is. And and uh, I accept what he said whole, wholeheartedly. And I pray to Allah that he supports me and keeps me strong. And because I'm able to see, I'm 45 years old. I spent most of my life not able to see the need or the, the use for having me to come in a position of leadership when we had Imam W.D. Muhammad. And those of us that know Imam Muhammad, there's not a soul on this earth that could walk in his shoes and make a move one step and say that you moved that shoe and you walked in Imam Muhammad's shoes. It's just not going to happen. And uh, we, so we thank Allah for blessing us with a leader like Imam Muhammad and for uh, taking us where we, we've gone. So I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time because Allah is my witness. Uh, this Imam, he did his job. And he came in here and he covered. I was listening. I was sitting back here grading him almost like a like a like a teacher, like like he's student. Now on what I was going to say and some of the points I was going to hit on, I was going to be a little more straight and and blunt about a few a few topics that you hit. But we dealing with some uh, heavy stuff that's been around for a long time. And you you addressed it. Uh, you did an excellent job addressing these issues that we've had. And. Uh, uh, we have people, opposition, the same opposition that watched Imam W.D. Muhammad, they watched, uh, Imam Muhammad did what he could to protect me and to hide him from view. But uh, the wise ones, Satan is wise. He's wise and older than all of us. None of us been around long with Satan. I like to see that person. He's a miracle. <laughs> we put him in a museum somewhere that lived, that's been living that long. So he's wise, and he was able to see the writing on the wall. So he was working and been working and working on the innocent and working on the, the ignorant ones of us and and uh, the weak ones of us to try to pull us away from Imam's leadership or to try to uh, see where where we're going. You know, they know the die has been set and they know that Allah has established the man and 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 uh, saved us from uh, from the fate that we face as a people and we should have been destroyed and with the leader uh, having the leader that we had they tried to destroy him too Imam W. Muhammad and so uh, we all know that Allah is God and he's driving this forward and um, and it's uh, not, nothing short of a miracle that we're here so we, we thank Allah for the uh, for blessing us to be in the circumstance where that we're in and uh, excellent job I can repeat that and the uh, a copy of this on DVD is on sale out, outside, and I'm sure that the audience, that's the radio audience, will be able to get a copy of the uh, lecture that you got here today. And uh, as we all know, the mosque cares. Uh, you know, we the speakers here that come here as our guests, uh, we invite them, and they're they're on that. You know, they the, their lectures or whatever they they do, uh, they they have they carry the weight of the burden. So to support the this brother and uh, uh, don't you know the mosque is a separate so the, the collection the money that he's asking for is not going in the oh, right that's, it's going to him right. to that address he gave and uh, uh, out on the radio so uh, the mosque is independent from the uh, from the the uh, keynote speakers that we have here uh, and another thing I heard of just the only thing just tinged uh, when he mentioned that Lamborghini there's some there's a message there's a clear message in that there was a lot of wisdom and light in that uh, I thought about it. How many people do you know that see a poor African American on the South Side? That's what I was driving a Chevy Equinox. That's a little car. That's not even a big SUV. That's one of the smaller ones that I feel the wind when big vehicles black, you know, push me around when I'm on the expressway. See me drive past their car. How many people do you know where I ask them to get out of the car, get in their car while the car is running? How many people? I don't think they do it for many people in this audience. So. I have to accept just naturally that it's something in me that uh, Allah has blessed me with that make a person uh, hand me the keys 
just because he saw the smile on my face, you know. And another thing, uh, I wouldn't trade his Lamborghini for my hot rod. I got a car in my garage, you know. And uh, who, who's to say I can't have a, a car? You should. It's an investment. The house is, housing market going down. I got a nice car. I just got a, uh, close to 500 horsepower. It's an antique. And Allah is my witness. Uh, you know, how would it make you feel if Imam Muhammad came to you with a big smile and gave you a, a big hug and shook your hand and told you congratulations? Oh, you'd be walking on cloud. I initially, my feelings was hurt. I said, what? I, I drive, I pull up in a car in front of Imam Muhammad and he, you know, my dad, and he gets excited. So I learned to, uh, to understand something about my father, that my father, that uh, the community and that uh, some of his following and the leadership and people close to him would have you forget that he is a human being, That's right. that he's a father, that he has a son, That's right. and that the success of his son is his success. That's right. The happiness of his son is his happiness. That's right. And he ain't no fool. He know the value of uh, antiques. It's a market out there. We the only people that reject uh, uh, wealth, that don't want nothing, you know? <laughs> I want something that I can manage and I keep parking in my garage. And I know that it's there, that investment's there, and I know it's worth more than the brand new one that I bought off the showroom floor that's sitting outside. Y'all can see that one, but I'm sure it's depreciated. The, one, the other one has appreciated because it's an antique. And it's a fun car. I get, you know, I get excited every time I start the motor up. It's a hot, hot rod. Yeah, Chevy. I'm 